Our next honoree is a Texas woman who you may or may not have read about in your history books. Lizzie Johnson is referred to as the cattle queen of Texas and thought to be the first woman to drive her own herd of cattle up the Chisholm Trail. This woman was an educator, a writer, an entrepreneur, and was years ahead of her time, as you'll see in her video. Twenty thirteen Cowgirl Hall of Fame honoree Lizzie Johnson. Elizabeth Lizzie Johnson Williams is best known as the Cattle Queen of Texas, and her unconventional choices make her an unforgettable part of Texas history. Born in Missouri to educators in 1840 who eventually homesteaded in Texas, it's not a surprise that Lizzie followed their path and after completing her own education, began her career as a school teacher, eventually establishing her own primary school in Austin. The young woman had a keen sense for identifying opportunity. She wrote articles for Frank Leslie's Illustrated Weekly in New York City. Of course, the social settings of the time didn't allow Lizzie to use her real name with her submitted work, so while she reportedly made substantial earnings, there was no record to determine which stories belonged to her. In her broad education, she not only excelled at teaching and writing, but also had a way with numbers. A cattle drive route passed through Central Texas, and Lizzie saw the chance to make money by keeping records and accounts for the cattlemen. Now, with three sources of income, Lizzie had enough to begin investing. In the latter half of the 19th century, she bought $2,500 worth of stock in Evan Snyder Buell Cattle Company of Chicago and sold it three years later for an impressive $20,000. In time, recognizing the profits to be made in cattle, Lizzie began to acquire her own herd, many of which were strays, but Lizzie had the sense to collect them for herself. In 1871, Lizzie registered her own brand of cattle under the name Elizabeth Johnson. Eight years later, Lizzie fell in love with and married a widower, Hezekiah Williams. Because of the independent financial and business success achieved by the entrepreneur, she and Williams entered into the marriage with a prenuptial agreement stating that Lizzie's income during the marriage would remain her property. This was an unusual move for the time, but Hezekiah was fond of gambling and drinking and his business acumen paled in comparison to hers. Hezekiah also had a herd, and together the couple drove their cattle up the Chisholm Trail, but always under separate accounts, earning Lizzie the title Cattle Queen of Texas. In addition to the livestock industry, Lizzie began investing in land property and real estate. She amassed several properties in what is now downtown Austin, and land in several counties including Llano, Hayes, and Trinity. She was known in her later years as a recluse and miser, yet early on indulged in beautiful diamonds, silks, velvets, and emeralds. Upon her death in 1924, it was discovered that she had amassed an estate that in 2013 would be valued at well over a million dollars. Lizzie is an interesting study. She has been called a financial genius and part lady, part cowman. She was smart, educated, and intuitive. For her entrepreneurial nature and tough character, we proudly induct Elizabeth Lizzie Johnson Williams into the National Cowgirl Hall of Fame. Well, I think we just learned a thing or two from Lizzie. I like that. Please help me welcome to the stage Lizzie's great, great, great niece, Cindy Shelton. Cattle Queen of Texas, quite an accomplishment for a young girl who came to Texas in a wagon as a child and became a teacher before the Civil War. Thank you for this great honor for my great, great, great aunt, Lizzie Johnson. Ninety years since she left this world after a very adventuresome life, and yet still books and magazine articles, even coloring books, list her amongst the ten most influential women in Texas history. Cattle Queen by Sarah Massey and now Kay Bailey's book, Unflinching Courage, Honor Her Life. We should all be so lucky. She would be very proud. I want to thank my great-great-grandmother, 
uh, Willie Shelton and my grandfather, Emmett Shelton, for keeping her memories alive. As a teacher after the Civil War, Lizzie took over uh, keeping books for cattlemen. She learned to love the business. She developed her own herd and drove it up the, cattle, the Chisholm Trail. She was known for wearing calico and silks on the trail and became the Texas Cattle Queen. She shared her adventures with, uh, in her writings with Frank Leslie Magazine. When barbed wire came to the cattle trails, she took her herds on ferries over to Cuba. Hezekiah was kidnapped and she had to actually pay a ransom for him. <laughs> they both had a large ranch there and lived for many years. In her later life, she uh, worked again with her ranching and tried to build Hayes City, Texas, uh, down in central Texas. And after it became a kind of a ghost town, they actually filmed one of the first on location silent films called Down on the Rio Grande on her ranch. And I always think about her in her 70s as she would coach them on what it should all look like back in those days. I think if Lizzie were here today, she would say, live your dream, make the most out of your life, celebrate the cowgirl in all of you, and keep all of your memories alive. Thank you very much. I think the only thing that surprises me is that she actually paid the ransom. <laughs> Congratulations.